हेलो फ्रेंड्स सत्येंद्र हियर एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स कैलकुलेट द टोटल वेट ऑफ एनी गिवन असेंबली सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो हियर इन दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट विल कैलकुलेट द टोटल वेट ऑफ दिस असेंबली एंड देन वी विल इंसर्ट दिस डिटेल्स टू द असेंबली ड्राइंग एंड फॉर दिस आई विल यूज दिस नकल जॉइंट असेंबली एंड इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग द असेंबली वेट first we will calculate the weight of each individual part and in return we will get the total weight of this entire assembly so to calculate the total weight of the entire assembly first you need to open each individual part and assign the material and for that you must know the material of each individual part so let's see this assembly drawing now here if you see the material it is same for all the parts fe4 and w so i'll use the same material for all the parts in your case it may differ from one part to another part so let's open each individual part and assign the material and for this i will select this first part and i will open it now here to assign the material go to file prepare model properties now here you have the material not assigned go to change then you get two folders here legacy material and standard material so legacy materials these are the old materials available in creo parametric then you have standard materials which is newly created and this is available from creo parametric 4 so here it is segregated from type to type so i'll go back and i'll go to legacy material now here i will select fe40 right click and you can unassign or you can assign the material say okay now once you assign the material the weight of the part depends upon the unit of the part so here my part unit is millimeter kilogram second now if you go inside you may have this unit millimeter newton second so if you have this unit change it to millimeter kilogram second and for that just select this unit and go to set now since this is also in millimeter and this is also in millimeter you can go with any of the option it will not change the size of the part but if you are changing from millimeter to inches then you need to be very careful while selecting these two options but in this case it doesn't matter so i can simply say okay So now if you see the unit it is millimeter newton second but uh, it is better to change to millimeter kilogram second So once you have assigned the material and change the unit now you go for mass properties Now since my unit is millimeter kilogram second I have all these details in kg or in the form of millimeter If you have your unit millimeter newton second then here the volume will be mmq but the mass will be in ton so you need to divide by 1000 to convert it into kg but in this case if your unit is millimeter kilogram second no need to do any conversion you will directly get the part weight in kg just go to calculate so this is the weight of this part now say okay So now you assigned the material and you calculated the weight of this part same thing you need to follow for each individual part now to bring the weight detail in your drawing you need to write a relation in your part and for that you go to tools relation and here you write a relation which is weight underscore kg equals pro underscore mp underscore mass so this pro mp mass is the system parameter and this is the name of the parameter we have taken you can consider any name so once you write this relation just verify it and say okay now if you expand it and scroll down you are getting the weight so this is the name we have considered here 
if you change the name this will change but this should be as it is pro underscore mp underscore mass now this relation you need to write in all your parts so just copy it and say ok save it close it now the second part go to file prepare mass properties change legacy material select the material it is already assigned say ok change your unit it is already changed directly i'll go to the mass properties calculate say ok close now go to the tools relation paste the relation verify it and ok so the same weight value is coming under your parameters say ok save it and close it third part file prepare mass properties change legacy material select the material say ok change calculate ok close then tools relation and paste the relation verify it ok it is coming here say ok save it close it then the next part file prepare mass properties change assign the material ok change calculate ok close tools relation paste the relation verify it ok it is coming here ok save it close it then the last part file prepare model properties change legacy material assign the material ok change calculate ok go to the tools relation write the relation verify it it is coming here this parameter should be common in all your part save it and close it now if you go to file prepare model properties change and if you say calculate it will calculate the mass based on all assigned material say ok so we have calculated all the part weight and the assembly weight now we will insert these details to our assembly drawing so i will create one assembly drawing i'll select this template and i'll say okay now here first i'll place the assembly view I will make it 0.75 or let us make it 1. Now I will add one table. So I will go to table, table, quick table and from here I can directly assign this table. I will click here and go to edit. Now, this one I will take it as part name. And these two I will delete it. Now, here I will add the weight of this assembly. 
and for this first I will add one column this side and then I will add one row somewhere here. Now I will select this box and go to edit. Here I will write weight or title. I will select this entire table. I will go to the format and font I will select as Arial. Width I will make it 5 or well, let us make it 6, say ok. Now, you need to assign a report symbol for the weight. So, for that you just double click here go to assembly, member, user defined and write down the parameter name which is weight underscore kg. So, this is the name of that parameter which we have added in all the parts. Just say ok and click on switch symbol. Now, the weight of each individual part got added here. Now, the next thing is add this weight to get the total value. And for that, go to repeat region and go for summation. Now, the moment you click here, it asks you to select a region. So, select this region. Then go for add. Here you have two options by text and by name. Always go with by name. So, you will clearly see by which name you want to add. So, this is the name assembly member weight underscore kg select it and then you just write a parameter name you can take anything so i will just type weight that's it say enter now pick a table cell where summation is to be placed so i'll select this box enter enter just go for switch symbol or you can go with update tables this way also you can update the table now click here and go for properties. Here you write down total and just say ok. So you got the total weight of your assembly. So, this is how we calculate the total weight of the entire assembly and we insert it in our drawing and I hope this video will be helpful. Now, you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.